Greetings, salutations, hello. I am your host, Video Vomit. Uh, today is a very fun day. Um, uh, we're not, we weren't scorched by the, uh, the, the eclipse, so that was nice. Um, uh, it isn't the end of times like most uh, people think as well. And um, I know, I know, you're very, very sad that you didn't get that uh, Super Nintendo classic, so please dry your eyes. This is a happy show, all right? Uh, today with me, uh, we have news and our only contact from the outside world, uh, Survivor Tom. Thank you. I'm back. Uh, Thank you. Are you getting enough air? No. All right. I don't care. <laughs> uh, the AI system for the air is all wackadoo today. Um, also, did you did you happen to catch the the eclipse? Did you did you I see? I caught a little bit of it. I looked out the window. I didn't need any goofy glasses because it was very cloudy here. Mm, ah, the president. I just uh, I squinted. Oh, see, kids. Easy enough. Why spend fifty dollars in shipping when you could just squint? Yep. Um, also, it doesn't matter for the next, uh, you know, like thirty years or something. Yeah, at least. Um, I'll still be down here, probably a skeleton <laughs> by then. Um, but uh, and then I'll do the show as a skeleton. <laughs> uh, we should probably get into this. <laughs> well, we're gonna jump right in. Uh, we have some uh, some quick news um, that we didn't uh, that we didn't get pictures for, so we're just gonna dump it out. We're just gonna do a little news dump. Um, we got some quick stories to talk about. Uh, Gremlins 3 has been written, and um, apparently from Chris uh, Columbus, he says it's a... <laughs> the? Yeah, Christopher, the, the, the Chris Columbus. He sailed the ocean blue to bring us Gremlins 3. <laughs> Absolutely. And uh, he says it's dark and twisted. Um, the first one was a little twisted. It was a little dark, uh, killing grannies. But she was really mean, so I guess it's okay. Um, she had it coming. Uh, and there was fair warning beforehand because she was mean. So it's like, okay, this chick's probably going to die. Anyway, uh, what do you think? It, and it's like a sequel. So like they're trying to get all the actors back and stuff. Sure. Do you think that something, like, this is kind of like a trend now where mm -hmm. they get to try and like bring of back course. something all this time after. Do you think something like this could work at, at a time like this? Um, I guess. I mean, but it's, it's hard to say without really knowing much of anything about yeah, it. I mean, there's no the script, pictures so. or casting or script or anything like that. So, in theory, it could either, it could be great, it could mm -hmm. be absolutely terrible. I, I just don't know how much of an interest there is. I mean, I don't right. know what type of budget we're looking at or like... Yeah, that's true. Um, but, I did hear that uh, they are going to do as much practical effects as possible. Now, usually I would say, oh, okay, so like what? Like Dr Jurassic World where it's like yep. two scenes. Mm -hmm. uh, not even, I would say. Um, but then they said that they can do more with erasing, with CGI in, in the terms of erasing the puppeteers. Sure. So that's a good yeah. idea. I think that's that's like where we should be going. Yeah, yeah. Now we're, yeah, instead but of making not. everything completely, right. yeah, you use the technology to get rid of the strings, basically. Use that, those millions of dollars to, to erase people in complete green skin tight <laughs> yeah. suits. Um, uh, yeah, uh, so I think that I think that's a good idea. I I, I would be excited for that. Um, I actually like Gremlins too as well. Um, I know it's really goofy. Hulk Hogan's in it, so is the Looney Tunes. Um, but uh, it, but come on, the Lightning Gremlin is really cool. Um, so moving on with our news dump, we got uh, Daniel Craig confirms that he's returning to Bond on the uh, the Stephen Colbert show. Um, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I kind of expected it. Um... Especially after the last few weeks, but I mean, I know there had been when he was doing the last one. He was, oh, I don't want to do this again. Mm -hmm. It was like it reminds me of like like a like a an athlete, like a professional athlete. Like oh, the season gets done. Oh, I think I'm going to be right. done, and then it comes around again. And they get time to mm -hmm. you know. They get a boner uh, for the yeah. They you know <laughs> they they once the terrible uh, task of completing that job right. is done and That's they get true. a while to themselves they want to do it again so mm -hmm. I, they get or they, maybe they throw a bunch of money at them they get that you know? jack strap itch yeah to get, but to get I, I don't there. i mean i'm down for it i like i like daniel craig and i like the the movies for the most yeah, part yeah. that they've been doing i think it's a good idea to just do like him with one last one and then yeah. tie it up or do like her majesty's secret service yeah and just have him marry and then have his wife get killed and then a new guy Sure. In the next one, and he's avenging. Yeah. The wife I mean, or something. That'd be well, they could uh, they could play it up too by being like, "This is his last one." You know what I yeah. mean? They could. That, that, that's very. They true. could capitalize on it too by playing it up like that. So. Um, and then uh, I thought this was pretty funny that uh, apparently 
Um, one of the re main reasons why he did it was because he hates Tom Hardy. <laughs> and Tom Hardy, uh, Tom Hardy was in talks early to do it. Now, sure. this is just a rumor. Um, it's not, like, for sure, but apparently he hates Tom Hardy enough to... To want to that's, be like, oh, that's a lot to. It's a lot what to. What problem would he have with Tom Hardy? I don't know. Uh, maybe uh, did they did the did the scoop list any like reason why he would have a problem I, with I Tom don't, Hardy? Maybe maybe they're both like like half attractive, half potato, and they both <laughs> like battle each other over who can be supreme potato. Perhaps, yeah. Maybe I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Daniel Craig's a pretty <laughs> maybe, looking. Who knows if we'll ever uh, we'll ever see that <laughs> we'll see never the light know. of day of that rumor. <laughs> um, and then uh, lastly for our news dump, we got uh, Kilgrave is back in Jessica Jones set photos. Um, I, didn't, I didn't put the set photos in. Sorry, guys. Uh, Don't worry. Google them. A quick Google. Uh, Post-apocalyptic Google will we'll <laughs> figure it, we'll get that all cleared up. Um, it, some people are like, how is he back? Um, a lot of people are like, it's probably just some like inner head sort of thing. Uh, I hate that, but also that's like the only reason. In the comics, he can, like, I think he can come back from the dead after being killed. Mm -hmm. But um, I, I don't think that they would go that far in the show. And people really hate resurrection stuff. They really mm -hmm. hate, like, when they're like, God damn it. Especially in Marvel. Because yeah. they, do, they want their Marvel characters to stay dead. Yep. Because they don't want <laughs> to... Uh, to to be teased again. I, and I get it, so that makes sense. Uh, what do yeah. you think? Uh, I'm cautiously optimistic. I mean, he's, I, a, he's a he was like the best part, one of the best parts of. Jessica I agree, Jones. he was really good. It's a good character, good actor, good villain. So, I'm pretty much down for anything. What if he comes back and he's actually purple this time? <laughs> he's just a, an actual purple man, and his head's <laughs> turned around, and he has to like wear like glasses or, and like walk backwards or something, like purple. wear all his clothes backwards. <laughs> I'm I'm in whatever it takes. <laughs> okay, uh, getting to our first story today. Um, uh, I'm sure the the whole comic book movie world is a rockin' right now. We got it's the been a weird couple days. It has been a very weird couple days. Um, uh, my little rats and, and and messenger birds tell me <laughs> all about it because uh, <laughs> I'm stuck down here. Uh, jo Joker origin movie from the Hangover director Todd Phillips, or, or oh, and then it's going to be written by Scott Silver, who writ wrote Eight Mile, and then uh, produced by the. I think this is like the biggest part of the story. Produced by Martin Scorsese, Scorsese, Scorsese. How, with how However you like. Okay. However, I usually user's go, choice. I usually go Scorsese. Oh, okay. Scorsese's like kind of like the highbrow. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You. That's like a well, Scorsese. envelope or <laughs> <laughs> um, a vase. So they are to produce, write, direct this uh, Joker spinoff movie. It's going to be not in the continuity of the that's right, that's extended correct. universe. For it's also going to be. Reason. They say okay, so they said um, movies much like Scorsese's films from an early era, from his early era, um, that of Taxi Driver, Raging Bull. Um, could a solo Joker movie even work? In theory, um, I mean, if you're going to do, I think it. Not that I have much faith in it but i think in theory it can mm -hmm. work better than say the venom movie that they're doing i mean if you're gonna do if you're gonna do a solo villain movie why not do probably the most famous uh, villain of all of time, villains yeah. yeah um odd that they would have it be not connected to the universe mm -hmm. i don't know and then it'd be set in the 80s yeah it may and it makes me wonder where and, they, and they where, brought up where does martin's like did Martin Scorsese approach the studio and say, "Hey, I want to do this," or did, like, how yeah. does how does he I feel like it would I'm have wondering? to be that way? It would yeah, have because to be nobody's those... going, "Hey, Marty, I got an idea." Right, this and... Joker movie with uh, the Hangover director and the guy who wrote Perfect. that Eminem movie. <laughs> I love it. it. Perfect. Sure. Let's do it. You know, like and I like that the the only thing they could get for the writer was like he wrote eight. Has he done nothing noteworthy <laughs> since then? Because I I, I, then I, I didn't bother to look Me him neither. up, but um, but yeah, I, I, it, it's weird. Uh, I think they want this, like, I think they might be doing the, uh, like, uh, Killing Joke-esque like beginning, you know, sure. his origin. But then, like, how could you carry that into, like, a third act without Batman? Like, yeah. they are two pieces of the same coin. Yeah, you don't, you, where does it go from there? As a Heath Ledger, I'm nothing without you. You're like, how, how <laughs> could it, you? That's, it's true, though. Like, yeah. I, I, I mean, it's the same you. concerns I have without, with, uh... Like the Venom movie, like mm -hmm. I said, with no Spider-Man. Honestly, I think that has a better chance to work without Spider-Man because you right. can have uh, him and Carnage and there's a symbiote and stuff. But 
Joker is just... Yeah. You have to have the other side of the coin there. I don't Not understand. to mention, like, his whole, like, his whole act, his whole persona is it, 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 it heavily relies on, like, a counterbalance. Yeah. You know, it heavily re- relies on somebody with a strong moral opposition to him. Yeah. So, like, who the hell could we stick it? Like, Commissioner Gordon? Like, dude's no match for... Yeah, I don't like, know. Like, I don't know. Like I'm interested. Just, we'll see what they have it's true. going on, but... It could be, like, a, an interesting character piece, like Taxi Driver, because they did bring that up. Yeah. Um, Which I'm all for. I, I get it. Um, but... I'm a, I'm a little bit confused. I am confused as hell. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> what's happening? Um, we're peeking our mics. <laughs> uh, what's happening? Uh, but that, <laughs> I, I just I'm kind of like upset. Not upset, but I uh, but I we'll get into it more when we talk about the Batman story. But um, I like uh, like what does this mean for the DCEU? Like is is it just like oh f- you know like w- this isn't working? Maybe it kind of worked with Wonder Woman. Like, should we just run this train off a cliff and then and then continue with, like, Elseworld stories? Yeah, I just can't figure out if they're trying to... I don't know what they're doing. It's it's almost like they're like, oh, geez, we can't get this whole universe thing down. Maybe we yeah. should just... You know, because now they're saying the Shazam movie is yeah, separate. I can't tell if they're trying to separate stuff out from the, the, the universe idea or if they're maybe just going to try to streamline their right. universe where they're like, oh, all right, we, we do want to do these movies, but they don't fit so we're gonna do them separately yeah i i so it kind of makes sense with like you know else worlds and whatever but then for like the general audience i feel like it's gonna gonna get get real confusing well we we talked about this with uh with justice league dark too Mm -hmm. how are they gonna explain to the average person yeah i and then also like how like i guess the x-men movies and shows have been doing it pretty well for a while so i i guess i guess we'll have to see um i guess it's also for you guys to decide and and uh, t- tell us what you think. I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Uh, do-, do you think this Joker movie could work? Also, we should probably say that uh, n- no Jared Leto in this. Yeah, Whether it's, it's going to be a, cast, a, a completely new casting. Uh, who, would you, who would you want? Is there? I honestly the haven't really thought about it. Okay. I don't. I don't, I don't know. know either. Someone with like a really slender face. Yeah. Uh, like may- I want to. I want this one to like. If they are going to really focus on the Joker, maybe do. Maybe make it like a like a gangster Joker, you know, like yep. ma- really play with it um, in like a classical sense, you know. You don't have to you don't have to clone the Jack Nicholson one, you know, and, and which is weird because like that's the only other time that we've focused on his origin before. Yeah, you know, because uh, that's something again like his, his, See, that's his a big concern origin. Me, for me too. Is I don't like I I don't like the idea of a really solid or intense it, we're, like we were talking about with like uh the, the rob zombie halloween exactly i don't like i, it, you, I don't want him to be over explained yeah because then because then you look like like in dark knight um uh he 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 says several different things yeah and you never know and uh, if yeah. any of those and are true so it's up to you to believe if it's true or not or whatever and yeah so i liked that one of the things i really did like about that movie so uh, yeah, that's it's definitely up in the air. Um, Very strange. We'll moving see. on to uh, to an Obi Wan, uh, some Star Wars news. Um, I thought I'd do a little pattern here, mix it up a little. Yeah, absolutely. Um, this one does interest me greatly. Yeah, yeah. An Obi Wan standalone movie was just it wasn't announced by Lucasfilm. It wasn't confirmed um, by Disney or Lucasfilm, but it was put in um, a Deadline, and they're and they're pretty good about. Yeah, and um, I believe it too because I think this is something that they've been thinking about for a while. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, we've been like asking for and, it. And that's the thing too; people are asking for it too. I think, I think besides, I, I can't really think and besides McGregor. like a Boba Fett movie. Yeah, but but I don't want a Boba Fett movie. Listen to me, Lucasfilm. <laughs> don't. Do, do, I, I want <laughs> you to do a bounty hunters movie. Don't do a Boba Fett movie. Just do a bounty hunters movie because then you got more characters. You don't have to worry about oh, is he gonna take his helmet off? Is he is he gonna talk? <laughs> you don't gotta worry about that because you got all the other guys. Just do all the talking. Dengar, the toilet paper mummy. He can do all the talking. So, you know, listen to me. What do I know? I'm just a guy in a bunker. Anyway. <laughs> um, George Lucas is probably long dead by now. <laughs> <laughs> he has, he has. He's been vaporized. I guess it's, not, it's on, not his on, choice on, anymore, on, though, I guess. On, so. On on Ranch Obi-Wan, he's been, he's been a vaporized. He's riding around in a golf cart. Or Skywalker Ranch, I said. Yeah. I'm sorry. I got my Ranch Obi-Wan uh, to- <laughs> toy Obi-Wan ranch. Obi-Wan Ranch, coming to a salad near you. <laughs> <laughs> There's a guy who, who has a bunch of toys, and that's what he calls it. Um, he's the biggest Star Wars collection. It was actually robbed not too long ago. Hmm. Anyway, back on story. <laughs> um, uh, 
you think uh, Ewan McGregor will return for this? I, th I think if they want him to, which I don't if see. they what, want I mean, the movie to be successful. He's, he's expressed that he's totally down to do it. He even he did that voiceover work in The Force Awakens. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's been he's like, playing ball steps. with them. and I, Yeah, I don't... I can't see any reason why he wouldn't do it. Mm -hmm. it's, I, yeah, I, I think uh, it is... I think it's almost definite that he's going to do yeah. it. Yeah. Because, I mean... I would definitely put money on it at this point. If, it, if the movie gets made, it's, it's not going to be... I think it would just be so disappointing for so many people if they didn't, you know? Yeah. Um, I would say, if you're not going to have him, don't make the movie. Yeah. Like, I, I would for say sure. that much. I, it, it's because, like, he was, like, the best part about the prequels. Absolutely. Um, his, like... Like, even the, sh the shitty dialogue he was given... Mm-hmm. He could like he can deliver a shitty line like yeah. he can do it you know so <laughs> you can count him you and McGregor to deliver a <laughs> shitty line in a movie yeah uh, this is probably a trap so what do we do spring the trap you know like he's just like <laughs> uh, that was like a Stewie Griffin voice you know what I mean? <laughs> but uh but uh, I Stewie guess Stewie Griffin origin <laughs> hello everybody <laughs> um, it's me Stewie <laughs> um so uh, do you think this is the right next solo film for Lucas film? Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't. I can't think of any reason why it wouldn't be the right next one. Mm -hmm. I mean, is it better um, than a Yoda or a? I mean, I would say it is. Yeah, I would say I can't. I don't know what else you would do that's mm -hmm. better than that right now. Um, so yeah, I th I would say yeah okay, for sure. Cool. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, I don't know who that who ha who else besides like a bounty hunters thing or like. And, and pe a lot of people right now are complaining that, oh, I want I want new stuff. There is new stuff. You're just not reading or watching it, yeah. like, on TV or, or books. New stuff coming December. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> I mean, just because you've seen a movie and they already introduced those characters, the, yeah. that does not to say that more new characters, like, we got Benicio Del Toro's character coming. We don't know no, who yeah. he is. Um, I mean, they're cutting characters left and right from the Han Solo movie, so we don't know who's going to be yeah, that anymore what, or who what? is. But, um... I there's we're getting we're getting like a Star Wars movie every year until until the till the real end of the world. So yeah, I mean we got so, two this year. Yeah, and probably I don't, next year's probably just cranked what's it up out. With next year? Oh, Han Solo's next year. Yeah, and so I think I think we're gonna be fine. Like I don't really think you have anything to worry about. And then everyone's like, oh, you know, this is what Disney does, man. They they, they get you know they 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 buy a franchise and then they they do it for money and toys. And it's like. Well, yeah, but they. Well, listen. If they're doing Marvel for money and toys, keep on doing <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, right. Because... Yeah, um, and uh, I mean, I like toys. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Keep making them. What's wrong with money and toys? <laughs> so keep making them. I uh, use money to buy toys. Yeah, sometimes. totally. Uh, and uh, I think that I think that it's fine. It's going to be fine because, like, it's get you're like. You give it. You you had the prequels, right? And everyone was dissatisfied with those in one shape or another, and now we have like people who grew up with it who love it, who are totally invested in it, and now it's in their hands. Like, so, so in a sense, it is in our hands. It is in the fans' yeah. hands now. So I think that something like that is is perfectly fine, and I think that, like, we don't have to get our panties in a twist because, like, of something that isn't announced yet. Like, would you rather it be like DC, where they announce a new thing, like, every other week, and then we're like, okay, what is and happening? we're all just scratching what our heads. What isn't happening? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> like, I would rather it be, like, like, they, obviously, Kathleen Kennedy is doing something right. You know, yeah. she's, like, keeping a lid on things. Like, they kept a lid on the Han Solo debacle for, like, as long as possible. And, like, I think they're doing pretty good. I mean, all intents and purposes for what they can do, I think they're doing pretty good damage control with that. Yeah. So, I don't know. Um, what the hell would it even be about? Is Force Ghost, like, wandering around through the galaxy? <laughs> well, I mean... I mean uh, assumably, it'd be the Tatooine. Yeah, something. exactly. It would be, obviously, between episode three and four. Yeah. Uh, the, I think there's like what an uh, 18 year span. I think if yeah, please, you know, the you roughest know. 18 years ever. If you look at Obi Wan in Episode Four, I've done a lot of crack cocaine <laughs> for um, a long time. Long time. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think it would be. I, I wouldn't mind if he left Tatooine. I know that's like sacrilegious to some people. Yeah. Like, but there. But also, it's a wretched hive of scum and villainy. Just, just a Ben Kenobi movie where he's not doing anything yeah. interesting. <laughs> but I mean, like the director, which we which we didn't um, bring up, uh, Stephen Dallary. He's being in ta He's like being looked at for sure. for it right now. He did the hours, Billy Elliot, and The Crown. And um, we have seen none of those. Not a, not a, <laughs> um, not a second. So of it. I can't make like. Uh, but what I've heard is that he does really good character work. So 
I'd assume well, that, that would it's be a, like the right project. You then. know, like if we get, but I will say, if we get another uh, Trent Reznor uh, cover from Johnny Cash over this run <laughs> trailer, I will be a little disappointed. <laughs> but, but um, I don't know what it could be about per se. Maybe like some kind of like I would say some kind of smaller event, some kind of like smaller thing. I mean, it doesn't need to be like some like world changing event. Maybe we get the the Smiths, get Jimmy Smiths back in there. <laughs> At Bail Organ, we get him to do yep. some some fun, like, please, you must come back. And he's like, I don't feel like it. Yeah, it's a <laughs> <laughs> hybrid time. I'm yeah, I just don't. Blue it's milk. it's one of, like I definitely want to see this movie, um, but I don't really know what they're yeah. gonna make it about. Who so. can who can the villain even be? Vader. <laughs> I mean, people would be pissed if yeah. it was Vader. But also, but what else to, are you gonna do? I mean, it's, he would have to go off. There's got to be a go reason off. for this movie to get made. Mm -hmm. uh, for then Vader, people would be really pissed. Yeah. Um, but. I don't know. For Vader, he would have to go off of off world. Yeah, true. Because then he would know. But yeah, I'm, or maybe they do some sort of general or somebody that we don't know. Or that'd be cool, like Thrawn or something. Yeah, like sure. Admiral Thrawn, if he doesn't die in uh, in Rebels, um, yeah. give Rebels a watch because that's a good show. It's it's a cartoon, but watch it, damn it. Um, <laughs> Immediately. Um, I think a good villain would be Cad Bane. He was uh, he was a villain in the uh, Clone War series. And he just disappeared. There was a there's a there's a a lost episode of the Clone Wars where him he basically like fosters foster, father fosters uh, <laughs> um, Australian Boba Fett. for beer. <laughs> father fosters um, <laughs> Australian for Boba Fett dad. Um, oh wow, weird because it's kind of like Boba Fetty voice. Anyway, uh -huh. uh, well, redubbed voice. Uh, but um. I think that uh, he, he well he he fostered uh, Boba Fett and there was like an ep like they had like a duel at the end and it was kind of ambiguous as to who lived and who died obviously and, and it would, that was how the the origin of the dent in the helmet came sure. from because um, uh, Cad blasted him in the in the helmet and um, so I think that that would be a really cool villain please for the love of God do that do it um, <laughs> all right and now we're gonna move on I'm breaking the pattern um, because I don't know how to put together an outline and uh, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna talk about some of the new vehicles from uh, the last Jedi uh, we got the new dreadnought um, it is a uh, cruiser uh, we got we'll bring that up on screen right now looks like a star destroyer that was run over by a car <laughs> it's a sky pizza <laughs> uh, apparently this thing sky is like pizza the... in the world of tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> um, this is going to be the one of the biggest ships, I believe, in Star Wars history. So please, like if I'm wrong, twenty-five thousand feet or something. I saw today. I was <laughs> yeah, yeah. That. If I'm wrong, uh, you know, uh, correct me. Tell me which one is. You know, one of the uh, expanded universe ships might be bigger. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I, I actually really like the design. Um, it has like this whole. Um, uh, it, it's like it's very classic looking mm -hmm. but then you can tell that it's very like i think the new first order stuff is very like streamlined it's very like sim it's more simpler yeah. than the original stuff because yep. i feel like the because kylo in, in the first order is like man that shit ugly <laughs> so, so they're like <laughs> that's probably let's, exactly what let's was make said. it look prettier um you can tell in the bottom there it has like this giant gun cannon um i wonder or perhaps if, that means it's it's a boy I'm not sure. <laughs> this is no female <laughs> um but it uh, it it could be i was thinking this what if they have like a death star laser attached to this sure thing? they're just cruising around with it yeah like I, there was ships in the extended um universe novels where there was a ship like that uh even in the clone wars there was a ship like that as well hmm. um so uh that'd be pretty cool uh so i like the, it it's nothing yeah. it doesn't blow my mind but i like it I think it'll be fine for the for the shots and for yep. what they're it'll for look the, cool for the it'll plot. do its job. Yeah. Um, next up is the uh, what the hell is it called? I don't want to get this wrong. Uh, ATN six. It's like a gorilla walker. Yep. Um, uh, here it is. I actually don't like this. You don't like it? <laughs> no. For what reason? Um, I hate the feet. the The front feet like bother me. I just feel like it would just like fall on its face constantly. Yeah, it does. It looks like it's about to fall over in this photograph. Like, will the toy be like the jankiest piece of shit ever? <laughs> uh, I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, maybe Apparently, I... this too, like the ship, is supposed to be a lot bigger than your your regular ATAT. -AT. Uh, yeah, that's cool. I like that it's bigger. Um, I like the, the the cabin actually, and I do like that that it resembles more of a tank now than it than any other AT 
whatever in the in the in the uh, history of Star Wars. Um, well, I guess the one from the Clone, War Clone Wars looks a lot like a tank too, but but I, I feel like it's kind of like an amalgamation between the two. Um, I don't like the fangs on the on the uh, thing there either. Oh, here we go. We got another shot of it. Uh, this one, it's like firing. Um, that it looks better. And and I should say, I don't like the feet, but uh, the the it is designed so the tow cables can't yeah. take it down as easy. Yep. But then I'm like, like the joints. I don't know. Like I'm like trying to work out the physics in my brain. Yeah. I'm like I still. Do you think feel anybody's like gonna try it in the movie? And I'm like, ah, oh, it didn't work. Yeah. They'd be like, my grandpapa. <laughs> Somebody's gonna be this. in there and be like. Did you guys see Spider-Man Homecoming? <laughs> oh my God! Or did you see Civil War? Everybody, what he did the long ago in a galaxy far away. Um, yeah, I didn't. It's I, neither of these things. Like I said, they didn't blow my mind. They're ju they're really just really derivative mm -hmm. of older stuff. Yeah. That's fine. It's just updated models. Yeah. I, do you, okay. So, so there are people out there who are upset that that they aren't going like the. Because we're not locked in on something. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't have a past to live up to, or a future to live up to anymore, yeah. like, as to where the prequels did. And nothing makes sense in the prequels, because it's like, when did everything go to shit? Like, yeah. the Emperor's just like, gray everything. <laughs> gray do everything. It. Do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> um, so, primer. Do it. <laughs> gray primer and, and, and just kit bash everything. <laughs> um, uh, so I think that maybe, like, maybe... I get it, like, they want to, like, uh, hone in on the feelings of the originals. But maybe... Like uh, those those red things sh uh, with shooting red farts out yeah. of their, sh <laughs> their ships, like that's cool. Like it, yeah. it, it's like a B wing, but it's not. Well, and that's uh, that's what I, I like too because they're not they're giving us stuff that looks like the old stuff and, then and introducing new stuff. New stuff that, like they're giving us. It's the same thing with the characters. They're giving us Luke and Leia and Han, and they're giving us Ray and Finn and Poe. Very good and, point. So it's. I'm also excited to see all the aliens, like those cute yep. little bug-eyed freak aliens. They've done such good creature work on yeah. the new ones, and I agree. I think, and like, th see, that's like, that to me is one of the main staples of Star Wars was the aliens, the the prosthetics, the mm -hmm. stuff like that. So, the more you do that, the better the movie is to me, yep. because like the more immersive it is, the more you know the actors are like, there's the alien right there in front of me. Yeah, they're not like, so, all right, look at that dot. Yeah, totally. All right, uh, moving on. Uh, this is one of the biggest stories of the day. Uh, it's no doubt. Uh, this is like an actual story that we like that's breaking like today. Uh, 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 Batman is most likely the Batman directed by Matt Reeves is most likely going to be another standalone DC film. Um, it was kind of up in the air. Uh, <sighs> <laughs> lay sigh. <laughs> um, but uh, it, so I, we should talk about where this came from. Before last month's Comic Con, Matt Reeves made some interesting comments about the Batman film he was working on. Um, I will uh, destroy this quote here. Um, he said, "When they approached me, what I said was, look, it's a standalone film. This isn't part of the extended universe." He also said um, that he has an idea for a trilogy um, for this mo for these movies. And then he also said that he's totally fine um, not making uh, the Batman movie, or wait, hold on, sorry, not making a Batman movie if, if Warner Brothers doesn't want to make the Batman movie that he wants to make. So uh, that could, oh because he did step away during the negotiations originally, Yeah. Uh, could this have been that discussion that he's actually talking about? Do you think that, Perhaps. that he like pretty much like forced them, not forced them, but he like like he kind of like showed his cards here mm -hmm. where he's i think that maybe he kind of like s spilled the beans before anyone even noticed because no like this is only breaking like now and people are only confirming it now yeah even though that this happened before yeah San Diego that's a little gone. odd because it was um, in a podcast so i don't think many people like caught it yeah true maybe that's why if it wasn't in print uh yeah this is strange um, There's but, a lot of questions. But what, the, the another, that other rumor coming out today, though, too, that this is going to be a standalone trilogy, not in the not in the extended universe, and now they're saying again that Affleck is not going to be in it. Yeah. Which. So he just lied. Honestly, the only reason it would make sense to me to do this not in the universe is if you're not going to have Ben Affleck yeah. in it, because that makes sense. Cool, a different Batman, just mm -hmm. like the just like the Joker movie. Mm -hmm. um, but now we're talking three several disconnected things yeah. that are all the same characters very strange yeah. but i um yeah that's the way i see it is that i think the only reason you do they're not gonna if if affleck was on board to do a movie or three movies or whatever they're not gonna be like 
Oh, sorry, Ben. We got Matt Reeves over here mm -hmm. from the Monkey movies. That yeah. wants to, you know what I mean? They're not going to, they wouldn't, you know what I mean? They're yeah, not, yeah. It, it would be it's to kind facilitate of the fact that he, too, because it's yeah. like, Ben Affleck's like got his like crayon written yeah. script. He's like, hey guys, uh, yeah. I got it here. That's I'm, still, uh, here I want to see that movie so bad. Yeah, and, and then, then and then someone's like, ah, screw you, Ben. We got yeah. Matt, we got the Reeves boy. We yeah, got the we monkey got Matt man. Reeves. Yeah. And and so then like he's like, oh cool. How many Oscars does Matt Reeves have for writing <laughs> movies and directing movies? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> and they were like, wow, no. I didn't think about that. No, uh, no, no, they did not. Um, but uh, I. The, there's so much wrong with this. Like it's very okay. So now, not only are we not getting a solo Batman movie for the DCU, we're getting this confusing trilogy. Mm -hmm. And it, like, I, I like Matt Reeves. I, I mean, I don't, I, I don't really watch the monkey movies, but I, <laughs> I, I, I do like monkeys though. <laughs> um, I, I don't uh, like, um, I don't like that that it's, this is just too. Yeah. It's too muddled. It's too muddy. Muddy. It's too. It's too like confusing for yeah. it's confu if it's confusing for us like I can only imagine what it's going to be like when this It makes me shit wonder too fan. if they were like maybe maybe they have a thing where like Affleck's going to stay on but he's just going to do like Justice League movies as Batman and maybe it's like I don't want to do all yeah. these solo movies and stuff. This is like unprecedented. That would be, that would be it's like It's just some, such like, a mess dude that yeah. I'm like I, I mean, I wouldn't even care. I, okay, so I guess I should probably bring up some of the some of the questions I have about this. Like, do you think that maybe um, that 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 like doing because like I don't know if you've seen any animated uh, animated movies. Like, they none of them like only a few of them really sure take place within the same yep. kind of context of each other. Uh, but most of them are kind of just. Uh, you know, a sandbox. So it's kind of like Elseworlds stories, and when we mean that, it's like they don't take place in the same universe. Sure. And, uh, but, and that's been working out pretty well for them. Not as much now, I would say, after yeah. uh, The Killing Joke. I think that that kind of crippled them a little. Apparently, <laughs> Batman Harley Quinn is an abomination. I, I saw it. And, um, oh, boy. I, I have not seen it. There are some really out-of-place shit <laughs> in there. I, it is weird. Like, there's a fart joke. Oh. That goes on, uh, like, the entirety of the joke too long. Like, it oh, is just too. They much. need to, somebody needs to just, like take power away from Bruce Tim. <laughs> I feel like they 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 did this whole thing where they were like, um, "Oh, Deadpool really worked. Harley Quinn's like a Deadpool. Let's, yeah, so let's, like, let's make it goofy yeah. and weird." And it's like, well, like there like there was jokes in the original animated Batman series, mm -hmm. but not like this. No. Well, it, it, yeah, I don't know. Maybe they're trying to do. They had a lot of success with people really love their the DC animated films, and maybe they're trying. So now to they want to. I think it's easier. That. Yeah, and they don't have to tie it to anything. Yeah, which is easier. And, and then that with this kind of like type of thing, you know, I I guessing Justice League Dark isn't going to be tied in either. No, absolutely not. So it's like, well, then then they, when they just leave the Justice League. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Swamp Thing, we'll leader see. of the Justice League. I guess. Meanwhile, we're back at the swamp. <laughs> um, Just remains to be seen, I suppose. Yeah, yeah so um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, please uh, leave some comments. Uh, <laughs> Clear this up for us. Yeah, what please, is going what on think? at Warner Brothers? Um, it's just, ah, oh God, what a, what a train <laughs> fire. What a train fire. Uh, now we're going to move on to some stuff that actually is working out for, for some people. Uh, we're going to be talking about the... Punisher trailer drop. We got a picture we can look at it here, and then, and then I think we, or, or we could just look at the, the video right Either away. Either way is fine. Um, but yeah, I think um, the it you know it, it's funny because we got uh, this is very clearly just it's a teaser trailer. Yeah, this is not a, a trailer. It's a minute long. Yeah, we don't it's even some really quick see. shots. This is awesome though. Him blowing those guys away. Yeah, I, you can just tell that this is going to be like the gnarliest, goriest version. Of the Netflix series, I'm you know, like Jessica excited. Jones is pretty gross in yeah. certain parts, and so was Daredevil. You know, with the head, but, but the, the grossest parts of Daredevil were, were the Punisher parts. Yeah, so I think that they can only take it up a notch. And yep. my God, can you imagine the hallway scene in this? Oh my God, yeah, <laughs> like just watch out, protect your halls. This is going to be crazy. <laughs> protect your floors <laughs> from the sledgehammer. Um, uh, yeah, so he doesn't hammer. Honestly, this is the only part. Of what is he, he's hammering the Punisher? Yeah, he's this like, guy I'm is an incredible craftsman to be <laughs> hammering the Punisher logo. Such precise. Um, this is a, this is the, honestly the only part I didn't like about the trailer. I was like, what are you? You know what's right, funny but... is, is is the Punisher has a knack for doing 
for doing the Punisher skull in impossible situations. Thomas yeah. Jane did the the cars blowing up. And then yeah. Like, <laughs> like, how long did that take him to plan? Yeah. And then and then uh, sitting there with a little pen and pad. <laughs> and then like Daredevil with the D's, with yeah, the fiery D's. Um. So yeah, they love to do stuff like that. But uh, you know, I I, I give this a pass because it's like a teaser. So maybe yeah. you know maybe he's like digging up some old guns or something yeah. like that. Maybe it's, I don't know. But um. I am really excited for this. Uh, please bring on the the blood, bring on the bullets. Yeah, I'm very excited. Um, I, just, I just I I just have a feeling that they're doing it right, mm-hmm. and I sure hope so because they took a lot of crap for Iron Fist. Yeah. Um, Defenders is pretty. It has been. We'll get there, that, but it's been the reviewed story. pretty well. We'll get into that. Um, but I feel like they're they they have to bring. They gotta bring something because each each series I know, feel like has been received a little less, less and less. Well. Yeah, I mean maybe a toss up between people really liked Luke Cage, um, but we'll see. I, I I just have a feeling that they're gonna do it right, and I really hope so. Who do you think is uh, like bad guys? Do you think it's just gonna be like mob going after? I don't mob know. That hurt him. Uh, he I think took care of them. He that's, took care of them. Yeah, that's true though. Uh, maybe we could do you know some like call call out for some obscure villain maybe we want to like get jigsaw who knows maybe it could be like setting I feel like up a we're villain also going to get a good amount too. of flashbacky stuff in this yeah because we do see him in his, his his um fatigues from his yep. wartime yep um which is interesting because um like the punisher comics that i knew it was like he was like from vietnam or mm-hmm. the gulf war or something like that you know so uh it's 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 interesting to see him in a in a more modern setting mm-hmm. again um uh, which which Punisher movie do you like more, the first one or Warzone? I only saw Warzone once, and I don't remember it that well. Mm-hmm. I mean, I I remember that he punches a guy's face in who does cocaine. A yeah, lot. The, the, because that the, was cool. The action of it and like being R rated and over the top was definitely what it needed. Yeah, yeah. but I th- I don't know. I I don't I don't hate the first Punisher movie. It's not a good movie. <laughs> Um, it, it, did you ever see? You know what my favorite Punisher movie? That dirty laundry short that they put oh, out. Did yeah. you ever see that? Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Uh, uh, my favorite, the Dolph Lundgren one. <laughs> I knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> it's good. I have the VHS. It's good. I mean, it's bad. What's but your it's favorite good. Uh, Nick Fury movie? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with The Hawk. There you go. Uh, uh, also check out the David Hasselhoff Nick Fury movie if you've never heard of that you're really in for something and also <laughs> I'm sure you could find the uh, Roger Corman uh, botched uh, Fantastic Four movie as well so yep. please give that a look up um, I think I forgot the hell what I was going to say uh, so <laughs> we're just going to move on to the Defenders now um, the Defenders uh, we got a nice little poster for you to look at while we talk over uh, did you finish it? I, you I said you not. were a couple I'm, episodes I'm, off. From I've the got ending? three left, and I'll probably okay. get through them pretty soon here. But, I uh, finished it. Um, we don't have a spoiler alert graphic ready, so I'm not going to give away any spoilers. <laughs> um, I really liked it, considering that it was very short. And I was surprised it was only eight episodes. You don't know what the hell the hand is up to the entire time until like the second to last or last episode. Cool. Like, you don't really know what they're up to. Sure. And to uh, to a less intelligent person, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, to to someone who doesn't like follow the plot like really strongly, and they're like, what are they up to? Yeah. Um, they're trying to figure it out. Uh, you could totally just not understand what the hell's going on. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and you and you could also confuse the villains for being like complete idiots, and and but f- in my opinion, and I don't think this is much of a spoiler. I think that their the, their turmoil, the bad guy, the hand, the 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 each there's like a, a head of each kind of thing. Fingers. The fingers of the hand. <laughs> I didn't want go to go too deep <laughs> into it, but yeah, the, there's different fingers of the hand, and um, they're all from different places of the world. They all come from different kind of like backgrounds, and it's implied that they were all. You know that they're kind of like the religious zealots that 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 betrayed the Kung Lung masters, and um, and uh, they kind of just all fight with each other, and mm-hmm. and people are like, well, they you know they're a team, and how they've done this for so long, and I'm just like, well, you know, like they they all have been getting like chipped away little by little mm-hmm. from these past seasons of of of, of shows, and then also. Um, you have a leader who kind of isn't really focused on leading anymore. 
her. Mm -hmm. Um, and Sigourney Weaver, I will say, like, like she she does a really good job of. I'm a I'm a person who knows kung fu, but in reality, I really don't know kung fu. Like she does like some blocking in it, yeah. where you're just like, good enough for me. <laughs> you know, I so she it. doesn't have to do any of that ever again. So that's nice. Um, but uh, but uh, I guess um, what are your some of your thoughts? I mean, like I, I'm only I'm a, I think five episodes in. I'm really enjoying it. Um, I would put it. it I mean, not enjoying it to the level that I should enjoy a team up. Mm -hmm series um but i i would more. say probably uh less than the daredevil s episodes or our seasons um uh, probably a right around either i'd say i'd put it between jessica jones and daredevil okay. for me as how yeah. much i'm liking it for i would say they... i like it as much as uh daredevil season two sure um season one's pretty good i really like season one of daredevil um uh, and then it, then it kind of just follows suit where it's Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, yep. and then Iron Fist. Um, I wanted to talk about some of the chemistry between the characters, um, specifically Luke and Danny. I really liked their chemistry together. I do too. And having never wa I never watched Iron Fist. Okay. I, did, I just didn't watch it. You were just like good enough for me. And I was like, you know what? Yeah, I'm not even whatever. I was never super interested, anyways. And then I heard everybody just talking about how bad it was. So I was like, whatever. But. Having not seen it now, I'm like, did you? <laughs> I'm like, it. I'm like, if anything, I'm more likely to watch it now because, yeah. like, I that I, might be actually a good idea. To yeah, get to I mean, know he him doesn't a little bit like he. Uh, I don't dislike. Everybody is like, oh, he's such a terrible actor, and I don't think that. At I don't all. think I, that's. A, I, I don't think, think that's. The I case. think he's. I think Iron Fist season one had bad dialogue to give him. Sure. So anyway, sorry. But, I, I mean, I cut well, it, yeah, you could be talking about like a Star Wars prequel mm -hmm. things where there's a lot of good actors in those movies. Yeah, absolutely. That, just deliver terribly. Just like, um, I have to say this. Yep. All right. But um. <laughs> yes, you do. Metachlorians. <laughs> um. But yeah, now I might be more likely to go watch his series okay. now because I like the dynamic and uh, I like the um. I really like the Jessica Murdoch dynamic. Yeah, yeah, um, that was good. Is good and obviously, like you said, uh, because two Luke sleuthy and characters together. Yeah. And then he took the two brawler. I like that he thinks there. he's being slick, and she's like, "I took pictures of you running around like a Russian <laughs> gymnast." And like, that was really that was, fun. That was good. That was good. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, I like it so far. Cool. I'll probably finish it up pretty soon. I think that uh, they should do themselves a huge service, and they should make their lives a lot easier. And okay, bring it in close. <laughs> uh, <laughs> listen to me. One uh, shot. Netflix slash Marvel slash Disney slash Overlords of the New World. Um, you should just make Heroes for Hire, okay? Please, just do that. Uh, Iron Fist. Instead of doing a Luke Cage 2 and a Danny and exactly. Iron Fist 2. I know that that's happening anyway, um, but uh, an Iron, F uh, Iron Fist 2 and a Luke Cage 2 might not be in the best interest of everybody. Um, their, their chemistry together was really good, so maybe put them two in, in something together like Heroes for Hire um, that's what the comic was, um, and and it could be like like not a huge citywide crisis thing. It could be like a more you know like toned down something. You know, put some MacGuffin you got to rescue or something like that in there. I don't know. I'm not a I'm not a genius, <laughs> but I am a genius when it comes to just putting these two <laughs> Except together. Except for when I want to be listened to about what you should do. <laughs> Except for when I say and address that I'm a genius. Um, but yeah, I, I think that that's what it should be. Because, I totally agree. Yeah. Because like Jessica Jones stands on her own, where it's like, yes, she's like doing some stuff. She's got this dark past, and yes, Luke Cage has a dark past. But I think that it's like we've explored that enough now. Yeah. We've we. I feel like he's gotten closure for that now, and so now we can move on into something else. And then with Heroes for Hire, you could uh, throw in Punisher, throw in Jessica, throw in yeah. Daredevil, like. It would just be like a good like it would be a good way for them to hone in on like what they want to do for the defenders in the future. Yeah. Because like then they could know how to do this bal balancing act a little bit better. So I agree. Th those are just my I thoughts. I think that's a good idea. But overall, I would say uh, it's really good. I, I I really enjoyed it and um, definitely check it out if you haven't. So, uh, all right. Uh, one of the last stories of the day we got. Uh, we're talking about Hatchet. Um, this. Uh, film series is kind of like a place, not a placeholder guy. That's that's saying a disservice to it. I would say, <laughs> it's like um, a spiritual successor to the um, Friday the Thirteenth movies. They're they're really good. Uh, well, it depends on who you ask. Um, <laughs> uh, they're gory and violent and and over the top. Uh, it's about a guy named Victor Crowley, and he's like a mutant from the swamp. And uh, we're getting a little, we're getting a teaser. Um, 
and uh, ten years ago in the swamps <laughs> of Louisiana. These the the older other movies have uh, Daniel Harris from the uh, Halloween uh, movies, the later Halloween movies. Oh sure. And then it has a uh, um, a bunch of other actors in there, and it's directed by Adam Green. And so this one is a is like it's like a it's like a reboot. Um, it's like a soft reboot. So it's like ten years after the original movies, and then now he's like back. Um, so uh, this one is kind of like it follows the like Jason kind of uh, mythology closer than the actual Friday the Thirteenth. He's like a, <laughs> he's like a murderous ghost, yep. and like you could kill him. They've like you know cut him in half. They smashed his head. Like they've done like virtually everything that you're like. Come on, I would, if I was fighting Jason, I'd just do this. They've done that to him, and he still comes back because like every time uh, like, I, I could be wrong on this, but like every a certain time during the night, he'll like always come back. Hmm. So that's really cool. And I'm excited to see this. Uh, th- it's gonna be uh, it toured around on like a like a the- theatrical road show. Cool. And uh, that's cool. Way to so do yeah, it. yeah. I, I with smaller horror movies, I get more excited because it's just like uh, Adam Green is a really good director. I really like his stuff. Um, he directed a, a movie with uh, Alex Pardee, the artist, called um, Digging Up the Marrow, and it was like a like found footage type movie about like uh, the Alex Pardee monster. So I mean, oh. uh, it was kind of disappointing to, that you didn't get to see as much as I would like to. But also, um, if you've ever seen Alex Pardee's work, trying to make those into prosthetics <laughs> would be very difficult. So um, yeah, uh, well that that's all we have for the uh, for the news segments. Now we're gonna look at some uh, some stuff that I've scavenged recently. The hands on portion. Yeah, yeah, the show and tell part. <laughs> <laughs> So I've got some uh, some Blu-rays here, and uh, I'm gonna throw my computer and, and then smash it on the ground. Perfect. <laughs> okay, so uh, uh, what do you, what do you what, basket case first? Sure, why not? Okay, so I picked up some Blu-rays recently. Um, I've talked, to, I've had a, on the Keshi episode. I brought up two of these movies. Um, basket case, directed by Frank Henenlotter. Uh This is an '80s movie. Um, this was uh, brought. To, to us uh, by something weird video and if you've never checked them out please do uh this movie is about a parasitic twin named belial and his uh brother that that got separated from and uh he keeps his uh separated brother in a in a in a wicker basket and he and he goes to new york and uh the the complete (laughs) insanity unfolds from there uh belial kills hookers he kills tenants in the hotel um, the, the, he, the, you even get a flashback to how they, how they were separated. And, uh, it is a, it is a dumb movie, but it is a awesome <laughs> movie. Like the, the, the prosthetic effects, uh, are super rushed, but they're still really good. I, I would say, um, Belial himself is really cool. Um, he just screams. He's like, it's implied <laughs> that he has like a telekinetic connection with his brother. Uh, but it's like only a one way thing. Um, but, uh. But but whenever he's like in a scene, he's just like Whoa! he's just like <laughs> like just the worst stock yell you've ever heard in your life. But um, it's a sick movie. Lots of gore, lots of blood, lots of weirdness. Um, he even uh, humps a dead body for a little while. So if <laughs> just you for a little while, just just a minute, just a minute. You got the kids. Fast forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they cover their eyes. I, I don't know why you'd be watching this show. <laughs> Or, or any of these or basket case kids. on Blu-ray. Who needs basket case in the high definition format? Me, me Tom. Me. You. <laughs> uh, so I, I had to fight off three mutants that look just like this to get yeah. this. The the fact that it's not super dusty is a miracle. Um, so now the next one is a uh, Tromaville classic uh, brought to you by the the great people of Troma, um, co-directed by Lloyd Kaufman and Michael Hertz. This is the 80s cult classic class of Newcomb High. Now this movie, um, this uh, during the 80s there is a there is a time of uh, of ra- like the the awareness of radioactivity and uh, and all of the uh, what, am I, what what the hell am I trying to say uh, pollution and, and 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 bad shit like that. Um, this movie kind of like uh, uh, exploited that. So these these are it's kind of like an exploitation movie in that sense where um, it's a movie about uh, kids who smoke radioactive pot <laughs> that grows by the nuclear power plant and they become cretins and and uh, they make life a living hell for these uh, for the other kids of the school and uh, and it, the the school is also 
plagued with radioactive water. It's it's green water, so that so they'll uh, they'll uh, <laughs> like one kid drinks from a bubbler, right? <laughs> and any any and, he, and he start green liquid starts coming out of his ears, and, and he starts to melt. His face melts off. The gore effects, the He's prosthetic. Late for class. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the prosthetic effects are incredible in this. Um, there's also some really weird scenes of a guy, uh, one of the main ca- our main heroes. Um, they they smoke some of the the radioactive pot, and uh, the girl. Uh, they they have sex afterwards, um, <laughs> and the girl gets a huge belly, like it, it like grows like really big, and 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 the and then she like the next day at school she like poops out this worm thing, and she and then the next girl comes in flushes it down the toilet, and then it comes back as a monster later, but the kid the the boy, um, he gets like these giant like bubbling like cro magnon <laughs> forehead bubbles, and he like shoves his fist down a bully's one of the cretins. Uh, uh, f- uh, throats, and then uh, they also, uh, when he's in bed, like during the same scene as the chick growing the belly, uh, he gets a massive, massive <laughs> boner, <laughs> <laughs> and it's like it like brings all of his sheets up, like it's taller than him, like oh it's, it's insane. It is a super, super twisted, super weird movie. Um, if you're a fan of '80s horror and stuff, I highly recommend this. But if you're a fan of '80s horror, you've you most likely heard of it. Trauma. <laughs> you've most likely seen this before. So if you're if so, I would recommend a couple brews, and maybe a couple puffs before you see this of your own radioactive <laughs> weed. <laughs> Don't do drugs, kids. Uh, and then finally, I had to do the best for last. Um, we're gonna be talking about the burning. Um, I also have the VHS right here. Well, look at that. For a little side by side comparison time. Um, the burning I also talked about in my Keshi episode because I had a little Keshi figure of Cropsy. Um, I also have a Cropsy sticker on my computer, which I also threw on the ground and smashed. So um, I, we, I, we can't do that now. We've got to keep going. Uh, uh, the Burning is about a caretaker f- uh, of a camp and, uh, and these bastard kids who, like, the, you know, they call him every dirty name in the book. And uh, these kids hate him. Uh, apparently, he pr- apparently, this groundkeeper plays pranks on him. We never see that sort of thing happen. Uh, so... Uh, I, I I can't protest to that. So, <laughs> um, so they prank this uh, this poor groundskeeper uh, with a with a with a wax. It looks like wax skull, and, it, and there's like candles in the eyes. And this guy, the the caretaker, is a drunk. So he so like an idiot, he he swats at the skull, falls on his bed, lights himself on fire, and uh, he's burned presumably to to death. And um, or actually no, he's not. He doesn't. He 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 escapes the hospital later. He gets released. And he tries to, and he resume, he resumes his revenge on these kids who have wronged him. Well, actually, in the movie, he doesn't really, like, he doesn't like hurt anyone who actually hurt him. He just he hurts just like the next other group of teenagers, like five years after at the same camp. And uh, what a fool! And and he just hurts all nothing. these kids. Yeah, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and uh, it's it's uh, this. It has the moral compass is all yeah it's all wackadoo it got burned away yeah. uh, he's he's hideously disfigured uh, as you can see here on the cover and he used a pair of garden shears uh, among a flamethrower and uh, and a bunch of other stuff to kill his victims mainly the garden shears because they tried to do like a like a whole shtick with him and uh, the uh, the the makeup artist uh, <laughs> Tom Savini he uh, he did all the the makeup effects for this. Uh, he may he rest in peace. Uh, Tom Savini's still alive. I know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> he's in everything, and uh, he's he's the Silver Fox. He's still slaying ladies to this day. So uh, I think he's married, actually. <laughs> but sorry, Tom. Uh, Tom Savini. <laughs> uh, but so he uh, did all. He turned down um, Friday the 13th Part Two to do this movie because at the time, at the time, he thought that uh, it would be stupid for Jason to come back in the movies. And uh, by the time the fourth one rolled around, he really uh, shaped up, and he decided mm, maybe I'll come back. But, <laughs> but, but for this movie, he did all the, the effects, and man, are they good! Um, there's a couple goofy ones, but uh, uh, mainly the uh, the bo- the raft massacre scene is probably what anyone thinks of during this. And the the dude from Hackers, the bad guy from Hackers, gets his fingies cut off. And uh, also, uh, George Costanza's in this movie. <laughs> so if you want to see Alexander. a young George Costanza with hair, hair included, uh, uh, please check this out. Uh, yeah, so that, that that's uh, my recent Blu-ray pickups. Um, if you're not into these movies, screw you. Um, and, <laughs> and, and if you're willing to check out some cool horror, uh, please check that out. Um, 
uh, so now we got the uh, the ending portion of our video, uh, which is going to be fun. We get to uh, we get to unbox some toys. So how fun is that? Uh, I have two previously you opened. You don't get to. We do. <laughs> <laughs> I have some two previously opened figures here. Um, this we're we're going to be talking about the Thor Ragnarok wave. Um, I got Thor himself and Loki himself here. Um, Loki even comes with his uh, his little removable helmet there. And uh, this Tom Hiddleston looks way better than the Avengers Tom Hiddleston. Oh, my God. Well, oh he's a god, god of thunder. He'll uh, get over it. <laughs> he's a god of thunder. What are you, the, the god of again? <laughs> um, and then we got uh, Thor here. Man, these look great. Uh, they, they, he, Thor loves to do his wiggle. Um, <laughs> the only thing about some of these, like, there are minor gripes, because I have opened these before a little while ago, so I do... Uh, I have had time to, to screw around with them. Um, I cut off the cape on Loki because just for God's sakes, the damn cape just kept falling off. Um, so I just kind of uh, uh, took off the cape and, and glued on the shoulder pads there. A little, little customization. So so when you, if you or when you get yours, uh, he will have a dumbass cape. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and also, I found this really weird. You can take off the arms, <laughs> and, it's, and it's only the left arm. Uh, what? Really? <laughs> yeah. And you can't take out both arms. It's only the left arm. Or at least I haven't really like tried to rip out his other arm off, out of the socket. Yeah, and true. same thing with Thor. And, and you know, that would be like, it would, to presume, like, this thing for Hasbro and for the Marvel Legends figures, it's only for uh, Build-A-Figures, figures, but uh, these aren't. So, Hasbro, what the hell? <laughs> you just don't want to, you just want to put it, you just want to put them together like that in their factory in China or something? I don't know. <laughs> um but, but again, the Thor cape on this one is really annoying. It, it connects at two points here on the on the hip oh, there and up here. And this can't stay in to save its life, and neither can this. So I was thinking about just making cloth capes for both of them. Uh, a lot of people on Instagram do make uh, cloth capes for their figures as well. So the, And these are based on the look for uh, Thor Ragnarok. Obviously, Thor doesn't have his hammer because it gets destroyed at this particular junction where he has this outfit on. So he has his two blue swords um, who knows where the hell he gets those? I'm assuming he gets them when he fights his battle. Yeah, I was gonna then, say I'm guessing they're given to him for the fight, yeah, like a gladiatorial thing. And then who 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 made a Thor helmet for him? Just like oh, Thor will be here one day. <laughs> yeah, we better get him. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then we got some box ones, so uh, so we'll go. Some ahead. box wine. Box oh. wine. Let's drink up. <laughs> Um, which one do you want to open? You, hey, it don't matter to me. Like, Give me this go, tricky hella. Okay. This one looks hella tricky. <laughs> wow. Tricky, tricky, tricky. <laughs> SSX tricky. Perfect. Stupid game. We're going game. snowboarding after this. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Tom here is going to be unboxing hella, and, uh, I will be unboxing Lady Thor, but I shouldn't call her uh -huh. Lady Thor. Thor. Just Thor. <laughs> I should say we're also building the uh, Hulk. Say put, putting Hulk together. We're putting Hulk together. So we got. Uh, I have already have the head and a leg freed from the Loki and Thor figures. How do you feel about Hella's cape? Um, Hella's cape is a little bit better, um, but uh, but I'll still have to glue that puppy in. Um, you just take off her say, head. Does her just head pop come her off? Head, gotcha. pop, pop off there. Heads popping off. Um, here we go. Hella was a goddess, and her head popped off. So Lady Thor. God, I keep doing it. Sorry, Thor. Just Thor. <laughs> Sorry. Well, you got to differentiate. Jane Foster Thor, I guess, would be more accurate. Um, now, she comes with a with her, with a signature hammer, and her Build-A-Figure pieces are another leg, another juicy Hulk leg. Thick thighs, <laughs> thick, meaty thighs. And then uh, we got his uh, one of his shoulder pieces there. And then we'll take out her cape. Um, yeah, again, run it. Run, this through. is really cool. I'm a, a big fan of this Hulk yeah. figure. She's cool. I, they did the the paintwork on that one is really good. Yeah, there, there the go. DJ, Yeah, go ahead. Bring it over there by you. Yeah, she's, she's got a. Whoop, so she, she comes with an great. alternate head. It looks like oh, it looks yeah, like the Cl the Kate Blanchett head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so so yeah, she's like this is like engineering idea. marvels with this, with the with the helmet there. That is pretty cool. Like that's pretty hard to pull off. So uh, kudos, Hasbro. Good job, kudos. Hasbro. You did a good job. A hella good job. A hella good job. <laughs> hella good time. I'm gonna keep making that hella joke until until, until it hella off comes here. herself and <laughs> burns you. <laughs> hella, hella high water. <laughs> <laughs> and I see they're slowly decreasing in quality. As well. <laughs> yep. Uh, so so we have this Jane Foster. 
Um, so the thing I don't really like about her is that her, she's limp wristed. <laughs> she limp, 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 uh, elbowed. She, the Pretty hammer is too to heavy. Do that, but that's... Yeah. It's too heavy for her. Um, it would make sense <laughs> that her arms are like the, on the skinnier side or whatever, but, but they do tend to, uh, in her. Unbelievable. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of a, a little weak there. Um, but you know, that could be just mine. Uh, you know, uh, uh loose limb issues, uh, happen when the when the toy is like you know still kind of fresh. So, yeah, sorry about it. Um, how about you open uh, Aries? Sure, why not? When I break your phone and then. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> and then I don't uh, need that phone anyway. So Tom's gonna be opening Aries, and I'll open. Um... Now, why does he look so different than he did in Wonder Woman? <laughs> <laughs> well, Tom, I'll tell you why. Because well. it's a different franchise. Oh. Um. Now this Aries is most notably the guy who gets ripped in half in the Dark Avengers by Sentry. Mm -hmm. um, I should have brought my Sentry figure. You um, but what's you know what's actually weird is that this figure here, uh, the unworthy Thor or Odin's son Thor, um, it is a the head and the buck besides the legs. The buck means the body uh, for you fucking plebs out yeah, there. The um, uh, it, it, it's actually the same as the sentries. So the fact that the guy, who, like the the body of the guy who kills Ares, is in the same thing, uh, that's pretty interesting. Um, so now we have our our torso piece for Hulk as well. So Tom was gracious enough to give me pieces. So yeah. now we get that that Hulk torso, which Hulk will... comes with a lot of weapons. He does. He does. All of these are including Hulk weapons. Oh, hey, your hat fell off there, bud. <laughs> All right. Uh, sorry, I'm like, you know, trying. Yeah, to I know. I'm trying away. to be conscious about okay. the audio. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the bunker gets messy sometimes. Sorry, yeah, well, guys. whatever. Uh, so, so here we go. Uh, Odin's son Thor, and we got Ares as well. Um, Ares is is cool. Uh, an interesting thing about Ares here is that uh, Hasbro uh, obtained the license to. The Marvel Legends figures, after being held by Toy Biz for a really long time, um, and so one of the first series of Hasbro, it was one of the earlier series. I won't say first because there was like I think four or five before this before this wave came out. But this was actually a build a figure, and you can tell because his leg is super loose and it comes out oh, all the time. No. Um, so and it also has the, this like dumb articulation um, in the in the waist in the crotch area there. For, for the leg, which um, is completely obsolete now with some of the figures. Um, he's got a removable helmet there, and he's got a sword and axe, which Tom didn't bring out because I'm assuming I'm a fool. I'm too... sorry. No, it's okay. It's fine. Um, but yeah, he, he this one's really cool. I would say this one is is the original has really shitty paint apps, um, but this one uh, this one's a vast improvement in my opinion over the original. So um, if you can, I got all these at Walmart, so I just like kind of like stumbled across them as. Uh, it was an I old, destroyed, ruined Walmart, uh, completely <laughs> ravaged. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Somebody, yeah. for some reason, left this entire series. <laughs> well, see, I don't think you're you're not really gathering toys in the apocalypse. Well, I mean, I am. <laughs> I and would, yeah. would be. It'd be um, the first thing I get, and then you know, like essentials. And then uh, here, here's the Odin son Thor. Um, his uh, he becomes unworthy at a certain point, and that's when Jane Foster Thor comes in here. And where she gets the hammer. So what the hell will uh, will Odin's son have after that? Uh, he gets a magical enchanted axe to chop down magical enchanted trees, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, uh, these figures are great. I would say, like, I obviously bought the whole wave when when I you know normally people um, only pick out a few. Uh, I mean, I could uh, normally I would only pick out a few. Um, oh, you forgot his his. Damn. Listen, bud. I can't be remembering all the things all the time. Okay, so my apologies. So now my we apologies, got the... viewers. His shoulder pad. Which why does he only need to protect one shoulder? Well, because uh, he's got to have the good swinging arm. All right. And then and then he's got to have the. Okay, so here we go. There he is. Tom, Mark Ruffalo. Tom totally blew his load. Jumped the gun. Yep. I jumped the load. <laughs> gotta take off both arms because I, I took off the wrong arm. See. Oh, you now yeah. who's the okay? Fool. Here we go. Yeah, me. <laughs> uh -huh. Me for having you on. <laughs> Me for letting you back into this damn bunker. Yeah, yep, should let yep. you, you should get, locked get the fried door. by the the the, the damn eclipse. <laughs> All right, and then uh, have some weapons. So here's here's those uh, here's those weapons. This thing could like you could kill like a small animal with this thing. Dang. I thought you were saying like 
real size. I'm like, oh, you can do more than kill a small animal. But yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, you could give Is a, it hefty? Give a good bonk on someone's oh, head. A good bonk. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's pretty heavy. I think, like, Not uh, bad. If, if a kid builds this, like, little sister beware, house cat It looks like, is this beware. a muffler on the, like, did they just construct it a... It looks like, like an engine. It looks yeah, like, it looks like an engine block on a muffler. <laughs> like, they did, that's all they had hey, on, man. <laughs> on Planet Hulk. They don't build hammers big enough for the Hulk. <laughs> uh, so here we go. Um, okay, full... Now, how in the world is a weakened Thor going to have... The ability to take on this Hulk? This is absurd. He's going to get his ass I guess kicked. we'll find out this November. <laughs> Coming this November. <laughs> um, but yeah, here we go. Oh, yeah, I suppose we probably put them together. Yep. He's like, I've got some blue swords. Will that help? No, it won't. <laughs> I have some blue swords. <laughs> Hulk smash your dumb pretty face. He sounded like more like there Frankenstein. He is. I this could do a real work. Hulk voice, but then, you know, what, what's the point of that? Um, <laughs> so full disclosure... Um, I, I did build this uh, Hulk build a figure uh, a while ago, um, and then I, I disassembled him and put him back in the package for this glorious moment. Um, I have had problems with him being on my shelf. This hammer is too the he end is too hemi he hemi too it's hemi. Too hemi. That thing got a it's, hemi. It's, it's <laughs> this motor um, it it bows like it just goes it just gets sad if you, if you like try and like hold it up. Or something. It needs a It'll fluffer. Just bend the other way. Yeah, yeah. Hulk's got to got to really fluff this <laughs> puppy up. Gonna really, really handle him pretty well. Um, uh, some of the some of the pros about this thing though is just the the paint apps are really good. Like on the on the on the armor and then on his chest and arm here, and uh, the the face actually looks pretty good. Like it actually looks like a like a Marky Ruff. The <laughs> Ruff Ruffles. Mark, Wisconsin zone. <laughs> Is he from Wisconsin? Yeah. Wow. He's from like Kenosha, I think. Too bad he got vaporized. Um, <laughs> Too bad Kenosha's not around anymore. <laughs> and and one of the greatest things about this, uh, he actually has like soft vinyl, like soft rubbery, squishy. It's one of those sandals. details that I'm like, why? Like why, I could take. Why his is that the off? detail they went over? With? Quentin yeah. Tarantino designed this figure. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, guys. Listen. I just really I, think it'll help me. We gotta put. <laughs> we gotta put the sandals on, okay? Because we gotta put the sandals on there. Um, I'm starting to sound like our old uh, that old guy who got us all blown up. Donald that Trump. old guy. Yep. Um, well, guys, we uh, completely improvised our way through this whole thing. Yep. Uh, I think you definitely can't tell. Nope. And um, uh, this was fun. Uh, hopefully, uh, we get to do more of these figure unboxings in the future. I'll bring something in too pretty soon. I cool. I meant to make a note. I know this got sewn together last nice. minute. I mean, you come back uh, from your scavenging hunts with yeah, nothing. Yeah, I'll find like something that. out there. Yeah, one day Trust you'll find me. something. Uh, yeah, so hopefully we'll look at more upscaled figures, uh, maybe some big stuff. I have a lot of stuff planned for Halloween, so um, I'm definitely going to be into that. And I want to do more movie, like individual movie discussions. Um, like more in-depth. Yeah. Instead so, of us showing, going off on a tangent for 23 minutes exactly, per, per idea. Exactly. And then I also want to do um, some uh, some more recent movies. Um, so we, uh, so maybe I will leave the bunker one day, and I'll f journey out into the great beyond, and, and I'll find a find a movie for us to talk about that that came out recently. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, so uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, you can find me at Video Vomit on Instagram. You can also go to my store, videovomit.bigcartel.com. I have uh, critter pins up there right now. I have some stickers up there right now. I even have some that are reminiscent of my favorite mad ball that we discussed last week, Hornhead. Uh, so you can pick one of those up. I have some melting VHS tape stickers as well. <laughs> and um, yeah, uh, Survivor Tom. Uh, I can be found in the wasteland. Until the next time I return... Eating roadkill. Yeah, if I if uh, my journeys are fortuitous and I am not murdered, I'll be back here. I'm sure. Great. Okay. <laughs> well, guys, it's been real. Um, hopefully, you can find one of those Super NES classics. Um, if then, you do, send it to us. And then you'll be long dead, so you can bring it to me, or I can <laughs> take it from your house, or he can take it from your house. Or you. Can <laughs> <laughs> um, well, until next time, guys. Same bunker time. Same bunker place. See you later.